lifting up the sun. of the sun to the going down of the sun my lost name is to be praised praise the Lord praise the Lord my name is Delphine Parker and I live at Three Ashay Road Clyde the way my mother and father brought me up was church and um, we had to either, they tell you straight, either you was in church or, this is the way they talked to us, was you either in church or you'd serve the devil or Jesus, one of the two. And we really had to make our mind up. But I believe just uh, following mum and dad's footsteps was church brought us up properly the, the right way because they would got up to mischief. There's nine of us and Andy Miriam's the eldest. Then Noel, Arthur, um, myself, and then Ursula, Gertie, Gertie, Lenny and Alfie, Shirley. That's my sisters and brothers. I married Uncle Keith and uh, we were up in Bowen for 10 years and then his job brought him down here to Gladstone. He's a boiler maker, but he ended up being a crane driver. A very important man in Gladstone. We used to have our NADOC little picnics down every year down Barney Point, and then we decided to do the first ball in 1984, I think it was, and um, we really had a good time getting everybody together. You know, I remember that lady's name this morning, now it's gone, the one that taught our girls how to present themselves, how to, because we had a, a fashion parade, and the lady that taught them had the shop, and they wore all her clothes. But that lady used to um, teach them every Thursday night um, how to walk the, the me boys and the girls together and how to dance. She even taught them to dance, and it was nice. Mm. My daughter Teresa won that year, the first year we ever had a made up. Yes. Keithy used to take us to Canoe Point nearly. Mm. Nearly every Saturday, I think it was, we'd be early in the morning, he'd get us out of bed, and then we'd be down there for breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and then tea time, then he'd bring us all home. That canoe point was our best place, but he used to take us out, the kids out to Wonga Dam a lot. Yes, that's uh, the other place, Barney Point. We used to go down there a lot. We got an opportunity shop. We started that 2009, and last year I started to get tired of it, and I just said we'd close down. But the girls that are running it said, no, leave it open and we'll do it. So this year I have, I just bring the clothes in if there's some sitting around the shop. But the girls do all the work, so it's good that I'm not in the shop anymore. We've got good uh, volunteers to join the shop. Two of the girls work on a Saturday, hanging up everything, cleaning out everything. But the other three girls work during the week. <laughs> the girls went off with me because it was a mountain bike and they said, that's $1,000 and you go and sell it for 20 But I said, no, we're not here to, um, to make money. We're here to uh, meet the people's needs. So that's what we do. And they sell their little bag, I think it's five dollars a bag, for clothes. And the ladies that come in the shop enjoy it because they said they love coming here. The girls give donations twice a year to our, I think it's the football, the soccer, 
the pony club, uh, the little um, child care centre, um, school, uh, rotary club, and so on and so on. Oh, that started 2004, but up the top, up at the Billabong, the Aboriginal and I've got a big um, property at the back here, and Keith and I was caretakers at the time. We uh, went there 2001 out to the property, and we stopped there till 2000. Uh, Keith passed away 2012. And I left there 2014 from the property, and that's where I first started the church up there. I like to uh, start to bring all the boys in that's off the street, that on ice, uh, what's that? Spirits, you know, spirits. And uh, they're mostly young fellas, and um, they, we just baptised about 19 of them a couple of weekends ago. But we've got to encourage them to keep coming in, you know. And they're mostly all the boys that are on ice and drink. So that's that's what we do. We're mostly thinking about the young fellas and the young girls that, that need, you know, the mothers, the widows that says to help them, the widows and the needy people. So I just... Thank the Lord for helping me that way. Neighbour come and he, he lived in Morrison Street and he said they can hear the music from here that we have on Sunday. And I said, oh, will we turn it down? They said, no, leave it alone. So we don't turn it down, we just leave the music go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. My crisis passed is um, really helping other people. It makes me happy inside helping somebody else. I wish the world had blinders on so nobody could see Things that make us different are so minor 